Kent, you know, uh, some of these soil processes that we talk about take thousands of years for the changes to be uh, reflected enough so we can actually see them, but some other changes, such as pedotubration, can happen very quickly. So you might talk to uh, us about some of the things we can see here on this site. Sure, Art. Um, pedotubration is a term uh, we use for soil mixing. Ped means soil. Uh, turbate means to mix, and there's three pedoturbation processes. There's cryopedoturbation, which occurs in the cryosolic order, where you have freeze-thaw action happening in the soil. There's argillipedoturbation, which occurs in the vertisols, and that's clay mixing. And the other one is faunal pedoturbation, which we're seeing here. And right here we have um, two examples of uh, animal pedoturbation, where we have an ant mound in front of us, and the ants have been bringing up the sandy soil material from depth from probably the B, maybe in the C horizons, and bringing it to the surface. And in mixing the soil in this way, they're aerating the soil so moisture can get in. They're bringing nutrients up from depth to the surface. So this grass patch that we see here, see here which is quite unique compared to the rest of the vegetation, has established on the ant mound. So that's one example. We have the ants working here. We also have some moles or voles or mice that have been burrowing in the soil here and they're also building nests underground. They bring up material to the surface so they're aerating the soil. Some of these um, rodents will actually carry vegetation into the ground, into their burrows and nests for the winter to feed on. So they're actually taking organic matter down into the profile which then gets mixed in the profile and, and uh, produces nutrient rich materials at, at depth. So this is a very nice example where we see ants in action and it's going on right now in front of us. We can see them running around and these um, uh, rodents, uh, they may still be around but this usually takes place in the winter time. These rodents are active in the winter. They bring the soil up to the surface and then they lay it underneath the snow and you quite often in the spring see these ridges of soil material that's been deposited on the surface and that's what we're seeing right here.